Hello everybody, Artic here, and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. In the last episode, we made it to Midna Town, and we have to find Nora. She's in this cave somewhere, deep in the cave, and we have to go and find her so we can... Uh, we already applied at the trainer school, we need to do a tournament, but we need Nora first, so that's why we need to find her. So we're gonna get right into this and go find Nora. Uh, I should probably swap Thunderbolt. I didn't realize Elekid had a nickname when I got him in the last episode. Well, yeah, his nickname is Thunderbolt. I didn't choose it. So I'm going to swap Thunderbolt out with Leonidas. And as you can see, I made a little, I made a slight adjustment to my team. We now have Fanfy and Ponyta on it. And I took off Rog and Rolla and somebody else. I can't remember who I took off already. But yeah, I was playing this game a little bit before I started this. I think I battled you. It's so dark in here. I'd better watch my step or I might trip on something. Oh, I didn't battle you. Oh. I thought I did. Oops. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we have Leonidas up first, which will be good because most of the Pokemon we find in here are ground and rock type. And Leonidas knows double kick, so uh, apparently it doesn't affect this timber very much. So we're going to hit it with a peck, see what that does. I don't think peck is going to do anything. Or maybe it'll do a lot. I guess it's super effective. Uh, so is that Bide. Um, that was unfortunate. Alright, Fanfy, you're up. I hope you can take care. I don't think you can because you only know... I did not mean to do defense curl, but okay. Uh, I meant to do rollout. I'm hoping this rollout will take it out, but nope. Okay, uh, well... Okay, so Fanfy is tanky, which is good. That is very good. And now he's going to use focus energy, so we're going to take it out with one more rollout. I can't really do anything besides the rollout because once you're in rollout, it lasts for, I think, five turns. But Fanfy got a lot of EXP. And we're still in the rollout phase, so we missed anyway. So, I mean, are we done? Are we done using rollout? And my special attack fell. We did. We are done. But well, I'm going to use it again. Oh, uh, you know Bind 2? There's a bi it's Bide. Not Bind. Bind is a different move. I don't know why I keep getting that mixed up. But we do take out the Cricket Top. So, that's good. And Fanfy is going to level up. Oh, never mind. I thought he would. She, sorry. Uh, we got a Chikorita here. Okay. Uh, that's not good for Fanfy here. Uh, but we're still in the roll-off phase, which is okay. So we're not we're not in the roll-off phase anymore. All right. So I'm going to swap out to Ponyta here because Chikorita is weak to Ponyta. And you're gonna hit me with a razor leaf. That's nah, not gonna do much. All right. So we know at least we know Ember, which comes in handy because Ember is a really good move when it comes to Grass type. So. I think it'll take about three, three embers. Yep, three embers to take it out. But Ponyta will get a lot of EXP from this, I hope. At least Fanfy might level up. I don't know if she's going to get any EXP. I hope so, because... It, oh, he, he, she does. She's level 12 now. Awesome. Uh, Ponyta didn't get really a lot. So, that that's unfortunate. But we did lose a teammate. Which is also unfortunate, so I'm going to run back to Pokemon Center at the beginning of this episode already. Alright, we are back in the cave. The mine, not the cave. And we got Leonidas back, so we should be good. I don't know how far into this mine we gotta go, but we got a Zubat. Don't know if I should catch it or not, but I'm trying to complete the Pokedex. So I might just catch it. Your Supersonic Mist, which is okay by me. Definitely not going to use you on my team because I don't really, I don't really like Zubat all too much. I do like Crobat, but eh, I don't really want a Zubat on my team. I mean, I've got a perfectly good team right now, and I just realized I don't have a lot of Pokeballs. So, I'm probably not going to be able to catch a lot of Pokemon right now. We do get the Zubat, though. So, that's good. Zubat has been added to the Pokedex. I don't care. Don't need to read that. You all know what a Zubat is, so at least you should. Let's just, 
Well, this, for some reason, this is your first Pokemon game, which would be a little weird. I got an escape rope. Cool. All right. I wish I had some repels. Do I have repels, actually? Uh, I do not. Cool. So we're just going to keep running into wild Pokemon everywhere we go. I should have probably bought some repels, but, you know, I know it's fast. I already caught one of you. Pretty sure I caught you in the last episode. Oh, well. Don't really... And another one. What do we got? Come on. A Woobat. Okay. Alright. I can probably catch this thing. Might not. I don't really want to, but, you know. Like I said, I'm completing the decks. Never mind. I'm going to run away because you, for some reason, are strong against Leonidas. And I don't want to don't wanna have to run to the back to the Pokemon Center already. So... I just came from there. So we're just going to continue on. Never mind. We're going to run into a Pokemon within five steps. It's another friggin' Zubat. Of course, you find these everywhere in caves, mines, anywhere dark. Alright. What do you got? Some of these rocks. Some of these rocks can be smashed by using move Rock Smash. In the Zora region, you don't need to use HM. Most fighting moves fulfill the same purpose. Oh, really? So if I got double kick, that works too? Ah, oh, that's, that's awesome. We got a soul rock out here. Leonidas should be able to handle this with a double kick. No, what? How is double kick not? I am a little confused as to why my double kick didn't do a lot. Of Hold on. Why did my double kick not do any damage? So, what typing is Soul Rock? Did I free? I. What? You know, I'm just gonna let it go because. You know, Fire Spin. Awesome. That's just. That's just wonderful. Alright, so. I have no idea what typing Soul Rock is anymore because apparently it's not a rock type because my fighting type move definitely would have done more damage if it were a rock type. So I'm pretty sure it's just a psychic type. Which would make a little more sense. Yeah. Pretty sure it's a uh, psychic type. Ouch. And you took out Casper. Dude, why? Why do you proceed to hate me? I am not a good Pokemon trainer. I have better luck in the other game that I play. Come on. Ember does nothing. Dude. Why does this game proceed to hate me? How is Soul Rock so tough? Okay. Fanfy, can you? Maybe. No. No, you can't. None of my Pokemon can. If we finally take out the Soul Rock, but we we lost two in the per in the process, and you got a Lunatone. Of course, cause why not? Why wouldn't you have both? You missed. Yeah, why wouldn't you have both? Can we... You're gonna... Really? I'm gonna take you out. Fanfi actually came through. Fanfi did it, and she's gonna level up. Hopefully twice. Yes! Fanfi leveled up twice. Alright. So, we lost two Pokemon in the process of being in here. But, we did get Fanfi up two levels. Uh, Ponyta and Casper, you guys did great. But, this cave is definitely not for you. Leonidas is definitely, probably, I don't know. Please don't have another Soul Rock or Lunatone, please. I don't really want to battle those things anymore. What do you got, Ridge Boy? We got a... Great. A fighting type. Yeah. What? What are the odds? 
What are the odds I find a Riolu in here? But, good thing Peck does a good amount of damage, but Quick Attack does a lot to us. And, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna have any potions by the end of this end of this route. I'm hoping uh, Nora will just take us right out. I mean, we do have the escape rope, so we can use that at any time we want. I don't want to use it right now because I just want to get through this and find Nora so we can get the trainer school thing going. And Leonidas is now level 15, which is good because one more level should he should be evolving. I was hoping for an ev evolution right there, but I think Nora is right there underneath us. We got a drill bird. Cool. All right. Well, can Leonidas handle this thing? Don't know. Okay, so it knows rabbit spin, but it doesn't really do much to Leonidas anyway. I do want to try and catch this thing. I have two great balls left. You got mud slap. How wonderful. All right. So I'm going to throw a great ball at it and hopefully catch this thing because I do like Drover. Not going to use it on my team though. Don't really need an extra drill. And more trust issues. Yay. Leonidas lives on one. How about that? Leonidas with the clutch. I have one more. One more great ball. And then I won't be able to catch anything, so I'm hoping maybe this great ball will work. Please, just stay in the ball. Stop shaking three times and popping open. It's not right. One and two times is understandable, but three? Hey, we got it. Cool. All right. So we got the drill bear. And now we don't have any Pokeballs, so can't catch anything else. It makes its way swiftly through the soil by putting both claws together and rotating at high speed. Yeah, it's just a drill. No, I don't want to give it a, a name. Uh, my finger slipped on my, my keyboard, so that's why I got really loud. Can I just get to Nora without running into anybody? Please? Dang it. There's this girl tanning herself deeper, training herself deeper in the cave. It's so annoying. She won't let anyone, let anyone through. Yeah, that's Nora. That's who I need. Get out of my way. I guess I need some training anyway. So, I mean... Yvonne out here with a few... bay bay. Alright. Um, I forgot to heal up... Leonidas. So... Double kick is not gonna do anything to Flabebe. Doesn't surprise me. Um... This is not good at all. I am a really bad trainer. Uh, you got tackle, which doesn't do much. We're gonna use peck. And you got fairy wind. That's not surprising. You are a fairy type, so I mean. How does peck not do anything? I'm sorry, Leonidas. I, I'm sorry. I, I really am. I truly am sorry. Okay, so Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, you're up. Um, I don't think any of my Pokemon can handle this thing, which sucks. Okay, so Thunderbolt, Thundershock is pretty, pretty decent. So we should be able to take this thing out. Oof, that hurt a little bit. Quick attack, should take it out. I'm hoping. Yes. Alright, so we take out the Flabebe. But she still has one Pokemon left. Which is not good for me. Because... Whoa. Okay, I thought I thought Thunderbolt was going to level up another one. Oh, never mind. It's the Flying type. Really. Alright, so... Uh, here we go. We're going to hit it with a Thundershock and hopefully take it out in one shot. Nope. Okay. I was hoping... It's a lot, that was a lot to hope for since Thunderbolt is still level 11. Well, you're up, Pikachu. I need your help. You're the only other one with Thunder, Thundershock. But, uh, 
I think I know why my Thundershock wasn't really hurting it. Why is your quick attack so strong? Seriously. Take it out, please, Pikachu. No, oh wow. Okay, wow. That's that that's not cool at all. Not cool. Because now all we have is Fanfi. And I don't think rollout will hit Saravia. Because will it? It will. Oh thank god. That's great. Fanfi coming in with another clutch. And a level up. Yes. Natural gift. What's natural gift do? I don't think it's been a while since I heard this. It draws power to attack by using its held bear. Oh. Uh let's get rid of flail. Cause we don't really need flail anyway. Natural gift isn't really gonna help us. So I don't really have any berries to give Fanfi. But we only have Fanfi left, so I need to get to Nora quickly. And not run into Pokemon. That'd be great too. Come on, man. I just want to get to Nora. Just let me get to Nora. That's not Nora. Uh, we need to get to this opening down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello? Nora? Come on. Please don't want to battle me. I don't have- Hey, look, another Faffy. Please don't want to battle me. I don't have good- I don't have Pokemon to battle you with. This is not- This won't- It won't be good if you want to battle. Alright, these fossils- The fossils are in place. You can do it, Celebi. I believe in you. Move these fossils through time. Use Tesseract. You did it! I'm so proud of you! I can't believe it! All of our hard work finally paid off! Armara Armaldo, Bastida Bastiodon, Kabutops, and Omastar! Who would have ever thought they'd see the light of day again? You can turn them back now, Celebi. I think we're done for today. I can't believe how far we've... Um, hi! Who are you? What did you see? I saw everything. Okay? Everything. Look! I don't know who you are. You can't tell anyone about this. You need to promise me. You got it. What was that? Oh, that was my Mew. Right there. See? It's my Mew. They're, 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 they're friends. See? Is is that... Could, could it be? Amazing. You were chosen by Mew? I thought there was only, I was the only one. But if you were also chosen... Hmm. I should probably explain. A long, long time ago, there was a prophecy written about a region. Nobody knows it word for word, but my parents told me stories when I was younger. It said that a dark era would soon fall over the region, but in the end, a hero will emerge to save the world. It's a bit cliche, but that's how prophecies tend to work, right? Apparently, the hero would be chosen by a legendary Pokemon, specifically an illusionary one. You know, like Mew, Victor, Victini, Hoopa, and so on. After Celery chose me, I was scared to let anyone know. I wasn't ready to be a hero. I needed to train, to be prepared. Besides, what if the cults came after me instead? I couldn't risk that happening. But then, the first auger came and he protected us. It was incredible. With Hoopa by his side, he saved hundreds of people and made the region a better place for everyone. But he's retired now. The second auger has taken his place and I don't think he was chosen by anyone. That's why I trained down here, in secret. If you choose you, the prophecy could be about either of us. There might even be others. You can't let anyone know about either of us. That could be why Mew hasn't joined your team yet. If you are the hero, it's waiting for you to be ready. So be careful from now on. Don't put yourself in danger, okay? But I like putting myself in danger. I love danger. But anyway, what are you doing down here? The tournament and training school? I completely forgot. Well, I better head up there and fast. If you hurry too, you might be able to participate in the tournament yourself. It's a good way to train and learn about battling. And we all need we all need to train we need all the training we can get. I can't can't read it. I'll meet you up there. Can you take me with you? I don't have any Pokemon. But I do have an escape rope, so uh let's use that and get the heck out of here. I don't wanna be down here anymore. Alright, let's run to the Pokemon Center and then we'll check out the training school. Alright, now that we're all here healed up, we're ready to check out this training school. 
and see what this tournament is. So let's talk. Which one do I talk to, Nora? Hurry up, we're gonna join or not? Oh, I have to talk to you? Hey, Arctic, right? Thank you for finding Nora for me. Now that you're here, we can finally get started with this tournament. Everyone is waiting. Alright, can I change up my uh, party real quick? Or not? That works too. Welcome, students! I hope you're all ready for one of the biggest tournaments we've had yet. We've, we have two new students from Telnor Town, Damien and Arctic. I think we're all excited to see how well they do. Let's begin. Best of luck to all of you. Today, we have eight very eager students ready to compete for the title of champion. Let's have a look, shall we? Without further ado, let the first match begin. It will be a battle between Arctic and Kyle. Alright. So, we gotta go against Kyle. Gotcha. Look at him. Got two Pokemon. Ninja Boy. With a Riolu. Great, I already battled one. Did I have to battle another one? Alright, well, at least I know what Riolu is weak to, so that that's uh, very helpful. You know, Force Palm? Are you kidding me? And Faint? Come on, how come you got to go twice? I don't know how you're faster than the Unitas, but okay. But, Riolu is down. We got a Tyro guy here. Uh, what are you weak to? Flying. Okay. Well, that is great to know. Very great to know. So, Kyle is down and out. Who's next? Uh-huh. What? No fair. You can't beat a ninja. I just did. Dude, come on. Alright. The stadium is getting heated up and the contestants are on fire. Let us turn our attention back to the scoreboard for the results. It looks like the next match will be between Arctic and Damien. Let the battle begin. Can I heal up? Or do you heal for me? That That's my question. Like, do you heal up my Pokemon? Yes, you do. Awesome. Alright, so we got Wartortle out here, which is a dark type. Which is not good if I have to bring Casper out. Um, double kick, maybe? And you hit me with Torment. Not cool. Alright, so neither one of my two moves do all too much. I can't... Oh, okay. Okay. And you got withdrawal, so your defense is going to go up. That's great. That is great. Uh, oh, yeah. Duh. I keep forgetting about the Torment. But Leonidas is down. Uh, that sucks. Damien is stronger than me by a lot, so I don't know how well this is gonna go. Which this might end up sucking. And I flinched. Come on. Seriously, Damien, how can you be so much stronger than me? Oh, uh, it's probably because he's been training more than I have. I haven't really been training all too much, so. Uh, yeah, never mind. I can see. I can understand. But it's not a water type. So, I mean, we do get to paralyze. So, we should be able to go a second time. No. Okay, well, apparently, this game does not like me at all. So, what? what's next? We got a core fish. Okay. So, what are you training? What are you doing? Training water types? Oh man, I was hoping for a one shot. Okay, Leer. Okay, by me. I'm gonna take you out with a second Thunder Shock. So it doesn't really matter what you do. Should've just hit me with a regular move. It would've probably taken me out. And a Luxio. So another electric type. And in a host charge. Okay. Okay. But uh None of my moves are really going to do anything to it. Could you just stop lowering my defense and hit me with an actual fighting move? Come on. Hit me. See? Wasn't that hard? Alright, Casper. You're up. Now we don't have to worry about the, uh, the dark type moves. I don't think Luxio learns dark type moves, so... What? Not very effective, my butt. Okay, well, we lost to Damien, yep, yeah, 
This is not this is not gonna go well. My last two Pokemon are way under level. And the one move he hit me with, apparently not very effective, took me down almost all the way. That's not cool at all. So trainer school was a big no-go for me. Uh can we maybe take it out with a quick no. Didn't think so. I wasn't holding my breath. Hit in with a charge. And it only raises your special defense. And none of my attacks are gonna hurt you anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Come on. There you go. Yep. I completely shut you down. Yeah, I know. It's because you're totally stronger. We have to see you again. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna end this episode here. In the next one, I'm hoping I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little off-screen training, and in the next episode, we should be good to go. Hopefully, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. Pokemon and searches will be going up every Tuesday at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time PM. I should. I should say it's not in the morning, so you don't have to worry about that. PM and every Tuesday, that's all to say. So I'll see you guys in the next video.